paste it. Paste it. Paste it and save it. So what exactly will happen is so one of the requirement for uh, Kubernetes operations is then you need to have a route 53 because that is where it's going to register this cube API server. Okay, the next is uh, what we need to have a S3 bucket as well. So the primary prerequisite was being done. Second thing is I need to have the S3. So I'll go here. Here a bucket you can give anything but I doubt uh, I think there should be always with this name there should be a bucket but we'll check it out so I'm going to copy here you need to buy this domain guys you buy XYZ domain XYZ domain is you'll get it in 130 you'll get a domain you can use but the whole year actually so I'll go here and if I give this one it's already there I'm going to use this one okay if I go here it's okay I'm going to use this one actually okay Right and um, and uh, S3 bucket is fine and uh, next prerequisite is uh, you need to download and everything. Also, you, you should have a key gen. So first, let's log into the server, our management server here. So <clears throat> okay right so first thing is as i said i'm going to type ssh hyphen keygen guys i'm going to run this that's it so what it is going to happen is it's going to create something called if i go to lsss right it's going to create a public and private key this is the public key and this is the private key now when you are deploying the uh, kubernetes cluster right it is going to use this one to deploy it actually okay anyway let it come right. now next is in the as as uh, here it, it deploys right what we need to do is we need to download the cube ctl and cops guys we need to download the cube ctl and cops so it is available online so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to download the cops so you'll get a github to the github go inside and go to the releases here come down looks like uh, they have released for uh, version 1.10 beta because for the cluster actually Anyway, if I come down, yeah. So here, what I'm going to do is I can actually go here. Actually, so Windows Linux, right? So what I'm going to do is Linux, Linux, SHA one, AMD Linux. Here it is. So I'm going to right click, copy link location. I'm going to say W get download it to here. See, but it's not having a read, right? What I'm going to do is ch mod 700 do like this. Now it is executable. I'll say you'll get something nice. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy move this to user local bin and i'm going to rename it as cops so if i type cops i should get something like this okay good this is done next comes you need to download the cube ctl because without cube ctl you can't manage a cluster so let's go ahead and cube ctl download go here so it's for install for Linux. 
and if you want to download or if you want a latest release right i'm going to copy this <clears throat> it is actually bin linux okay okay i'll say cp okay again ch mod 700 cube ctl and move cube ctl user local bin so cube ctl it works so i have cube ctl as well as cops both are done and i also have the have the s3 bucket and s3 uh i mean route 53 domain okay good so next what we're going to do is um uh, let me come down i'm going to copy this uh let me open the let's use it here copy give it here so why it is not getting copied control C okay right so what I'm going to do is first let me view word wrap okay so create cluster name is equal to uh, our domain name guys so what i'm going to do is what is our domain name this is the domain name i'm going to copy and i'm going to select this control h to this replace all done so cops create cluster hyphen hyphen vishwadrona state is uh, this is the same uh, i mean I have the same bucket as well zones is fine so you can give extra zones if you want us used one node 2 and node type also you need to also give the volumes as well i mean see if you if i directly execute this one it what it will do is it will create uh, master volumes i think also 128 and node volumes of 64 64 bit each, which is very very large actually so what i'm going to do is here i'll say cops hyphen hyphen help or cops create hyphen hyphen help so let's go go top see it is saying cops create cluster name so and so and so what i'm interested in i'm interested in the volumes actually what are the volumes you can give if i come down mm, Okay, I'll say cops create cluster hyphen hyphen help. See, no, this is what I'm talking about node volume size. This is important, and I should have master volume size. This is important. Okay, <laughs> you need to make sure you're given this properly, otherwise, it's going to eat up your. Uh, almost like 200 gigs of space so i'm going to copy this and uh, i'm going to give hyphen hyphen master volume size i'm going to give basically 10 similarly i'm going to give node volume size okay so cops create cluster and hyphen hyphen name is equal to vishwadrona.com hyphen hyphen state s3 so and so bucket and zones uh node count means it have one master and two nodes actually t2 micro node volume this is as i said important micro done i think i think i need to give hyphen okay you can copy this totally or i'm going to remove the word wrap
copy it i'll go here if i give this one and hit enter so let's see what it will do okay it is saying that one okay so finally okay saying that one list clusters everything so finally you need to run this one so it is saying suggestions list clusters with cops get cluster and you can also edit in everything and uh, you can actually give cops okay i'm just going to copy this so for your future suggestions here okay so i'm going to give i think it won't be enough it will also ask for state guys if i trying to give this one it will ask what is the state also let me show it to you if i copy this and go back give hit enter so it will says that one you need to give hyphen hyphen state flag as well that is what they are saying so i'm going to give hyphen hyphen state this one okay that is where the configuration is saved at the back end okay <clears throat> copy so i'm going to paste it here and hit enter okay now what it is going to do is it is simply it is going to uh, it is going to deploy uh, three virtual machines let me show it to you i'll go back here if i go to instances and refresh it so if you see it is actually deploying it should also deploy one more master as well guys it's showing on yeah see master node and two nodes actually more importantly if i go to the volumes if i go to volumes so if you see it took 10 10 10 right in general what will happen is it will be one will be i think uh, 64 two will be 128 gb 128 gb if you really want to test it out don't give this one and try give it a try where is <laughs> this one right i gave the the node volume size and everything right try it out and check it out what will happen so it, it will be consuming a lot of things actually okay this is for hcd cluster right hcd database right still it's not when the server is up when the master is up it will start consuming these two as well so right now it is showing available after some time it will come now how do we know the server is up and running so what i can do is basically you can say like uh, cops uh not uh, cops or sorry kubectl get nodes if i give something like this what it will do is it will check it out it will check it out if everything is ready it is going to show us master and two nodes basically right now it is going to give you an error saying that one it is not able to reach to the api server after some time so what i'm going to i'm going to stop it i'm do something like this watch hyphen n1 uh cube cube ctl get pods hyphen a okay now what exactly is by default when you deploy a deploy a kubernetes cluster there are something called as a namespaces these namespaces uh, there is called system namespace which will run some cube dns a lot of uh, management related pods car containers actually so that means if they are ready that means obviously the cluster is ready so what it is going to do is it's since i have given watch hyphen n1 right so what it is going to run at the back end uh, this this uh, this command again and again every every one second so we can actually come back and check it out meanwhile since it will take little time somewhere like if you deploy the kubernetes cluster it will take somewhere like 10 to 15 minutes guys okay right so similarly uh, i want to give you an overview how it can be done this is like manually we are creating the email uh, using the cops and creating the cluster so what i'm going to do let me show you how you can do that in um, azure actually so i'm going to log into my account So you really don't need to go all these uh, all these things when you are dealing with uh, managed managed uh, Kubernetes actually. So in AWS it is called Kubernetes service. So what I can do here, 
basically you can or you can actually go to if i say cube kubernetes services you'll get this one you can click on it and check it out i'm going to click on kubernetes services now what will happen here there is no concept of master guys right now if you see here it is actually deploying uh, one as a master the other two as nodes right when it comes to aks azure kubernetes service you really don't worry uh, how to worry about anything you need to select your resource group and i'm going to give as uh, aks and i'm going to give dns name also aks so i'm going to change the size i'm going to change the size i'm going to give uh, bs2 so so i'm going to give some three nodes yes fine so scale next 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 and it's going to okay kubernetes 15 version i really don't want that okay i can actually change it so let me see Here if I go to basics the version I need to select is a default earlier. It was 14. They made it recently to 15 actually. Okay, fine preview So 17.3 it was earlier too. Okay, so review and create Created guys Okay, that's it. So it will take its own sweep time and it's going to deploy. Uh, it will take my expectation is it is taking another 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, if I come back here, see, see kubectl get pods hyphen a. If you see, these are all the pods. Like left side, check out the namespace actually. Cube system, cube system. That means it's management system. And these are the DNS, etcd manager. So let's go back to the volumes and check it out. If I go to the volumes, earlier they are not used properly, right? So they're saying that they are available. Let's try to see here again. Now you see it is used actually green earlier these two are blue saying that it is not been used now it is used actually right so right now we have our cluster if you see so what i'm going to, i'm going to control c if i say ku um sorry now what will happen every time to type that cube ctl it will be really irritating so what you can do is i'm going to normally i i put in bash rc something like the q is equal to uh cube ctl Ctl okay, so ku so right now if you type uh, ku get pods right you won't get anything The reason I gave it to go to the default namespace if I give a it will check for all namespaces and get me this That's why I gave this command if I say ku get nodes right now if you see This is how it will be So right now if you see I have three nodes running on this guys So if you see one is a master you can clearly one is a master the other one is these two are running on here okay right so this is how basically you can actually configure is cube uh, uh, kubernetes on aws using cops actually but one thing you need to understand is everything uh, almost it's, it's created a new vpc everything is new and in the instances if i go to this one uh it by default the security group will be blocking everything so that will that can cause issues for us i'm going to allow the inbound rules so it's only allowed all traffic one so i'll say click on edit inbound rules and i'm going to say like um, say anywhere and i'm going to save the rules the reason is once we deploy some services it won't work uh, that's the reason i'm doing this okay good now let's let's find uh, let's understand the uh, instead of we already spoke about the basic components of the kubernetes net let's find out when you are deploying the resources what are the different resources in kubernetes cluster now starting with the the least i mean the most underlying or what is the lower part of uh, kubernetes resources is called pods guys pod this is the lowest actually it's not called as container so don't think they say it's a container what is a pod is so let me show it to you why it is called as a pod i'll say if i say p pod you know peace right so 